Hello students, today I am going to discuss about the classification of nanomaterials. Classi nanomaterials classified based on two categories. One is dimensions, second one is composition. Today I am going to discuss about na classification of nanomaterial based on composition. Based on composition, nanomaterials are classified again four types. That is C, M, D, C. C is nothing but carbon, M is metal, D is dendrimer, C is composite. So, carbon based nanomaterials, metal based nanomaterials, dendrimers, and composite. First, we will see the what is meant by carbon based nanomaterials. Carbon based nanomaterials are rich in carbon content. These are the materials which are rich in carbon contents. The shape of these carbon based nanomaterials are spherical shape hollow shape, ellipsoid shape and cylindrical shape. Spherical shape is nothing but it is like ball like structure. Hollow means it is like tube like structure and ellipsoid means it is like capsule like structure and cylindrical means it is like cylindrical it's shape will be like this. These are four different shapes of carbon based nanomaterials are there. If the carbon based nanomaterials are in spherical or hollow or ellipsoid, these materials are called fullerenes. If the carbon based nanomaterials are in cylindrical shape, these are called CNT. CNT is nothing but carbon nanotubes. Carbon nano Tubes. These carbon based nanomaterials are very lighter and stronger when compared to the steel. Next, we will move on to the metal based nanomaterials. Metal based nanomaterials are nothing but all metals are including in this type of nanomaterials. Examples of these metal based nanomaterials are nano gold, nano silver, TiO2, that is nothing but titanium dioxide, and quantum dots. Next, we are moving on to the Third type that is dendrimers. Dendrimers are nothing but these are the materials are nano polymers and containing n number of and containing n number of chain ends. N number of chain ends. N, n means nothing but it's a, it, this containing infinity of the chain ends. This is the structure of the dendrimers. Dendrimer contains n number of chain ends and we can add the required functional group at this chain ends. We can add the required the required functional groups at this chain ends. Functional group is nothing but either it may be methyl, carboxyl, carbonyl, hydroxide, sulfhydryl like that we can add the required functional group at this chain ends and we can use it for the further applications and this dendrimers also have the interior cavities the dendrimers also have the interior interior cavities or interior space this interior cavities we can add the required drug molecule to this interior cavities we can add the required drug molecule otherwise active pharmaceutical ingredient to this interior cavities and will be used for the further applications the drug filled dendrimers when we administer this drug filled dendrimers into the body this will go and act on specific site of action they will go and act on specific site on specific site and will go on act on specific cell. These dendrimers normally we can use in targeted drug delivery systems. Mainly we can use in cancer therapy or tumor targeted drug delivery systems. Next we will move on to the fourth type that is composite. That is nothing but composite. Composite is nothing but mixture of compound. Composite means mixture of compounds. Here we are going to mix the nanomaterials with bulk materials. Nanomaterials with bulk materials. Why we are mixing nanomaterials with bulk materials? If we add nanomaterials to the bulk materials, the bulk material properties will increase. Will this will increase the physical? chemical and mechanical properties of the bulk materials examples of this composite is we can add na nano clay with the bulk materials nano clay with the bulk material then we can improve the properties of this bulk materials commonly this nano clay will be used in the, the paints 
inks and cosmetic purposes this is about the classification of nanomaterials based on composition we have four types carbon based materials metal based nanomaterials dendrimers and composites carbon based nanomaterials we have different shape and we can used for different purposes metal based mainly will have gold and silver nanomaterials dendrimers are targeted drug delivery system because we, uh, we can this dendrimers contains interior cavities we can add required drug molecules and use it used for further applications composites are mixture of compounds we, we are going to mix nanomaterials with the bulk materials in this case the properties of the bulk material also increases physical chemical mechanical properties of the bulk materials will increase thank you thank you so much